Hi, I'm V, a technical writer at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Have you been looking at hosting with cloud-based virtual machines? Do you work in the Microsoft ecosystem and want to keep everything contained there? Good news, cPanel and WHM is now officially available on Microsoft's Azure Marketplace. Here, I'll demonstrate how to launch a cPanel and WHM virtual machine on Azure. In this video, we'll log into Azure, find cPanel and WHM in the Marketplace, configure a virtual machine and set up your WHM login, launch the virtual machine, and then finally log into WHM. First up, open your web browser and navigate to portal.azure.com. If you aren't already logged in, go ahead and log in. Or if you don't have an Azure account, create one. Once you've logged in and are on the Azure Portal's homepage, click Marketplace. The Marketplace interface will appear. If you don't see Marketplace listed on your homepage, then use the search box to search for Marketplace. We'll use the Marketplace's search box to search for cPanel and WHM for Azure. Before clicking on a listing, make sure the publisher is cPanel. After you click on a listing card, the listing itself will appear. I've also put a direct link to the listing in the description down below. When you're ready to launch a virtual machine, click Create. The Create a Virtual Machine Interface's Basics tab will appear. First, we'll fill in the project details. Select the subscription to pay for this virtual machine. Then, for Resource Group, either select New Resource Group or an Existing Resource Group. Creating a new resource group when making a new virtual machine makes it easier to delete all parts of your machine once you're done with it. So, we recommend creating a new resource group for ease of use. Now, let's enter the instance details. First, we'll enter a name for this virtual machine. You can't change the name of your virtual machine after you create it, so double check for typos. Also, if you set your virtual machine's resource group to new resource group, then that resource group will use this name as its own. Next, select your region. Then, select your availability options. We're going to leave it set to no infrastructure redundancy required. Below availability options, you'll see the image that Azure will use to make your virtual machine. Because we're using the cPanel and WHM for Azure Marketplace listing to create this virtual machine, this will already be set to what we need. For the last of the instance details, we need to select a size. Make sure you select a size with at least one gigabyte of RAM or else cPanel and WHM won't install at all. We recommend at least two gigabytes of RAM though. Now, on to the last of the basics, the Administrator Account section. What authentication type you should choose depends entirely on how comfortable you feel using the command line of your computer. If you're uncomfortable with or don't want to bother with connecting to your virtual machine with PuTTY or Terminal, then make sure you select Password. By creating username and password here, you're making a limited version of a reseller account. With this, you'll be able to log into WHM as soon as the installation process completes without doing any extra steps. Once you log into WHM, you can give your virtual machine's root account a password using the Change Root Password interface. I'll link to our Guide to Reseller Accounts and Change Root Password documentation down below, if you want more details. However, if you select SSH Public Key, you'll have to connect to your virtual machine through an SSH client to set up a password for the root account before you can access WHM at all. I'm going to show you how to set up things using the password option. If you'd like to use an SSH Public Key, a link to our Launch an Azure Virtual Machine documentation is in the description down below. Once you select Password, enter your desired username. Once you start typing the username, you'll see the username requirements go from a red X to a green check mark as you meet them. Now for the password. Once you start typing your password, you'll see the requirements your password still needs to meet. Those requirements disappear as your password meets them. Then confirm your password. If you just need a basic virtual machine, you can click Review plus Create. If you want to change the type of disk your virtual machine uses, add tags, or other more advanced options, you can customize your virtual machine further using the other tabs in this interface. If you are changing further settings, make sure to keep Boot Diagnostics set to Enable with Managed Storage Account. Disabling Boot Diagnostics can cause issues when installing cPanel and WHM. Let's go ahead and double check that everything we've entered or selected on the Basics tab is correct. Okay, looks good. We're creating a fairly simple virtual machine today, so let's go ahead and click Review plus Create. Once you click that, Azure runs a validation check, then takes you to the Review plus Create tab. Here, you'll see the cost per hour to run your virtual machine. You'll notice that cPanel and WHM for Azure doesn't bill through Azure itself. Instead, you'll need to buy a license directly from cPanel after your trial period is up. It's easy to get a license directly through WHM, but I'll link to our How to Purchase a cPanel License documentation down below. Below the pricing information, you'll see the Terms section. Make sure to read the terms through before continuing on. 
Lastly, you'll see all the details of your soon-to-be virtual machine. Double check everything again just to make sure it's correct. Okay, looks good. Time to click Create to launch our virtual machine. In the top right corner, you'll see a notification that deployment is initializing. After a little bit, a deployment interface will appear so you can watch the progress of your virtual machine's launch. Deployment plus WHM's installation will take approximately 15 minutes. This would be a good opportunity to get a snack or check your email. Once your virtual machine deploys, you'll see a green check mark. This doesn't mean that WHM has finished installing, though. Either way, once you see that green check mark, click Go to Resource at the bottom of the interface. The first thing you want to do with your hot off the presses virtual machine will be to set a static IP address. Click on your virtual machine's public IP address. Azure defaults to a dynamic IP address, which means if you stop, then restart your virtual machine, the IP address will change. cPanel and WHM licenses are tied to IP addresses, so you don't want it to change. So, you'll want to set a static IP address before activating your trial license. Click Static, then click Save. After the change is saved, the page will refresh. Now, copy that IP address and paste it into a new browser window, followed by colon 2087. The WHM login page for your virtual machine will appear. Use the username and password you created while launching your virtual machine to log in. And that's it. From here, you'll just have to accept the terms, then activate your trial license. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, visit cPanel.net. Or follow us on Twitter. We're at cPanel. If you found this video useful or have any questions, let us know in the comments. And for more helpful videos, subscribe to our cPanel TV channel. Thanks for watching.